If you've ever been scared on a jump or you're looking to jump jumps for the first time or you've gotten hurt and you're trying to come back to being comfortable on the jumps, this video is definitely for you. We're gonna go over proper body position on multiple different jumps so you understand the difference. Let's go. All right, so before we get too deep into actually going over these jump faces, we're gonna show you the proper neutral standing position that you need to accomplish. It needs to be the basis of all of these jumps. And then we're gonna adjust the hips on each one of these jump faces to match what they need to uh, what they need to not give us negative feedback. We'll start at our feet. So look down at the feet. We want to be on the balls of our feet with our, our heels dropped just below foot peg height. We go up from there. We want to stack our knees over top of the foot peg. So that's going to be a slight bend in our knees. From there, we rotate out. And then from there, we go down with our chest. We don't round in our back. And then we're in a neutral standing position. Now the jump faces are going to dictate how our body moves front to back in the, from this position. But our knees are going to stay in the same spot the whole time. All right, the first one we're gonna work on is the longer dump phase. This body position is more neutral with a little bit of head lower as you go up the jump phase. So positions here, feet are dropped, knees are back, hips stay over the top of the pegs, and then the head's gonna drive forward to the jump phase. The knees kind of straighten out naturally there because you're moving the head forward, so it's this motion. You're leaning, you're going with the bike. If you don't go with the bike on a longer jump face, the bike's gonna go backwards in the air. Here's one more time at speed for you guys. We don't have a lot of kick or a lot of feedback from the back end. So what we do is we plant the back end with our throttle by accelerating from the bottom through the top, and we don't get that huckabuck. Now what you'll see when we go over to the shorter jump faces is that you do get that reaction, and I'll explain why when we get over there. So let's head over to the rhythm section. The positioning is pretty similar, but there are there is one big nuance, is that we're going landing on a down slope and immediately going up. So we need to land in a position that we can drive forward. So you want the head to stay over the front when you land, and then the hips are gonna drive a little further back on this, and as you notice when we get this, the shot from the side here. And the reason for that is, is these jumps, as a lot of rhythm sections are, the jump face is shorter than the bike length for the most part. And anytime you get to a point where the jump face is shorter than the bike length, the bike wants to kick. The front end kind of pushes through, the back end has feedback. When we get to a short and steep jump face, you'll really get to see that in our step three here. But let's go through this one. I'm gonna talk through this rhythm section as I hit it a couple times so you guys can see and I'll explain what it's supposed to feel like for you at home. The motion you guys should be feeling is head forward and then the hips kind of, you kind of row the bike to you. So it's like this motion here when you're going through the jump phase. But the knees stay in the same spot and the hips drive just a little further back. Okay, so head's here, back, 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 back. Right, but head, head maintains the neutral position. So we can, if we are on the gas here, when we jump these things, Another important piece, as you'll see when I'm jumping through here, is you want to always land front tire down going in a rhythm section because if you case and slap the front tire, it's going to shoot your body weight forward and throw you all out of whack on the next jump. So we want to get used to pushing the front end down. And you ask, well, how do we get the front end down? There's two ways. You drive forward with your head, right? So you let your body weight lead the bike. You push the front end down and or you're really good at hitting the back brake in the air. But in short little areas like this, the back brake doesn't do a lot, right? Because there's not enough wheel spin inertia to really get it to jolt forward. So you just wanna be really good at driving that head forward and making sure that you're pushing that front tire down to the landing. All right, so moving on to the third body position in jump face comparison. It's gonna be the fast, short, and steep jump. We went over a little bit about the short and steep over there. Now we're kicking up the speed a little bit. This is third gear, three quarter throttle on a 450. And I want you guys to really see the hip separation. What I mean by that is basically separating your hips from your upper body, like you're stretching your body apart. The hips are gonna drive back, the head's gonna go down low. And we're just trying to basically meet the kick of the back tire with our hips. And this takes some practice. Make sure you start on smaller, slower jumps because if you mistime it, it can kick you forward. But this is how you hit short, steep jump faces fast without getting the huckabuck. This is how all the supercross guys are hitting all the rhythm tests. So what you want to think about when you land is, what are we doing? We're driving forward 10, almost nine out of 10 times. We're on the gas and moving forward. The only time this would be any different would be if we're landing immediately on the brakes, which is fairly rare. 
So if we're driving it forward, we know that we need to start in neutral position and then lean head towards the front tire. Everything that we do on the motorcycle should be a balanced front to back. We should always feel like we're being pushed by the bike and or pushing against the bike under braking in balance both ways. You wanna make sure that you do your calf workouts and make sure you stretch your Achilles because it's a good way to pop it. Tight with your knees, really, really tight with your knees. That's gonna disperse a little bit of that energy coming back up towards you. Unlock in the hips so you can act as like a spring, almost like you're uh, an accordion where you're working, all your joints are straight and you're working together. And then just driving through a little throttle on the landing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us at a camp, dmxfactory.com. We'll see you guys.